Hey guys, what's up? The game game here. Um, and yeah, <laughs> I'm here. Anyway, um, I've been doing some testing recently. Um, with uh, spawn spawning physics. Um, but anyway, so this is just gonna be like really super duper quick because I don't want to get into all the details. But I've been looking into the code. Basically, things can pick up items. Pretty cool, I know. So we're just going to do this. Okay, now we are going to do this. Oh, whoops, didn't put in the zombies. I tried to make multiple videos of this, and I take way too long. But anyway. Here we have a fire to burn all their items, or I mean all their XP, because, yeah. Anyway, this time we got, um, 25 CDs, and 25 out of 30 is, let's see, 25 divided by 30, 8 point, er, about 83%, um, which means about 27%. Ugh, <laughs> I just kind of burped there. Um, which means about 27%, no, what am I thinking? 17% of zombies picked up items. And in the code, it states that 20% um, of zombies will pick up items. So that was pretty good. Again, this is random. Um, next, um, what I'm going to do is give myself uh, nine swords. Put in nine skeletons. Oops, that was actually ten. There. Um. I, yeah, this is ten too. Okay. Um. Sp okay. And then do this. Now I'll show you why I use swords instead of CDs. Next. And if I go over here, all of the swords have been picked up. Yeah. Okay, um... It's the, it's the morning song, or sunrise slash set song. Anyway, um... Cool. Coolio. We're going to do zombie pigments now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, blah, I did it again. Okay. Um, put the stone swords in here. Um, yeah. actually picked up, um, so let's just spawn these. Um, what I can tell you now, though, is that they follow the same rules as the normal zombies. Why are none of them picking up the swords? Oh, there's one. Yep. So I believe only one out of the ten actually picked that up. No, that wasn't 10. Um, 18 picked them up, which isn't a very good statistic to run off of. Yeah, okay. But 1 out of 20, I believe, are supposed to take them. Um, I didn't quite look into the code, into the zombie pigment. I just saw undead things can pick up items, and I wanted to test. Okay. Um, things will actually stack in a zombie's inventory or a skeleton's. Um, but not in a... 
can't really do it with a skeleton because the only thing that they'll actually pick up are swords, which I'm going to show you why in a moment. But um, let's go into get some stone here, go like this. Actually, I'm just going to throw it in here. Okay. Hopefully, one of these zombies will be able to do it. I promise you, I won't go to like really like too many. I won't do 64 zombies. How about that? Oh, there we go. As you can see, only one of them has the stone. Um, and they actually have a stack of 64 stone. Okay. Okay. Now, um... Okay. So, things can stack. Um, they actually prioritize armor, which is pretty cool. I'll show you that here. Um... Do, 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 do. Just like making it so that actually, you know, what? I can just um, I'm going to show it on skeletons, but I promise you that it works with zombies too. Um, you can put uh, some, you can put stuff on their heads, um, and any if you have anything on their head, then it will. Um, I'm getting all my words mixed up here. Um, if you have anything on their head, then they will not burn in daylight, which is what I'm going to show you here. So if I give myself a skeleton spawner, I'm going to throw down this pumpkin first so it picks it up right away and doesn't start burning. Okay. So yeah, skeletons, zombies can wear pumpkins too. They also prioritize their armor, and I promise you that this works with everything. I'm just going to show it with helmets because it's easier. They will take... um. They, they actually do it in a strange order, I don't know why, but they do chain, er, uh, iron and then chain mail. I don't know why. So if we, if we can go... What? Okay, this one's being different. The last skeleton that I tested on rather had chain mail than iron. And, like, you could switch it around and what? Okay, anyway. Yeah, but no matter what, diamond's always the biggest. Um, and I'm going to steal... Can I? No, I can't middle click these yet. Okay. I'm gonna steal this because potions are not armor biased. Um, yeah. Okay, uh, next. Um, in case you're wondering what this was, this was just a little test that I had earlier. Doesn't work. I was wondering if zombies could break down doors fa faster if they were holding an axe. That'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah. I believe... No, 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 I've, I've definitely not covered... Ah, uh, what am I thinking? Okay, so let's just plop this down here. Go like this, it wears the helmet. Now let's give ourselves some different armor. We have leather, then chain mail, then iron, and then, uh, diamond. I don't know where gold goes, so I'm not even going to try messing with that. Okay, so we are going to give him leather, he can do that, he can wear chain mail, he can wear iron, and he can wear diamond. Yeah. Kill. Okay. And in case you're wondering why they're not dropping all their items, it's because I have the mob loot off. Normally they always, 100% of the time, drop the items. Um, as long as they were from... Uh, you giving it to them rather than them just spawning with it. Um, I've gone over zombies. I've gone over skeletons. Over the zombie pigmen. I believe I've gone over everything in this video. I went over armor. Um, oh yeah. Um, bows. You cannot give bows to or, uh, different bows to skeletons so you can't like give a skeleton a fire aspect one bow because they don't like um what am i thinking they don't like um enchantments they do not base anything off of enchantments so if you had a level 127 wooden sword um it wouldn't 
or uh, it would rather have a stone sword than a level 127 wooden sword with absolutely every single enchantment on it. Oh, speaking of which, um, I don't think I went over this, so might as well. Um, I'm going to do this. I'm actually going to make this as a save. Um, oh, might as well save it with a pumpkin so that we can Okay, so you're going to throw down a pumpkin, and we're going to give the skeleton a pumpkin so it doesn't burn. We can give the skeleton a sword, and I don't believe it can attack us through... Ow! Oh my gosh. These things are so fast. <laughs> okay, get away from me. Okay. Anyway, yeah. So... It will actually not substitute wood for gold. And then it'll substitute wood for iron, or wood for stone, wood for iron, or stone for iron, and then iron for diamond. Um, and then bring in the load. Um, go like this, and let this take it. Up. And I wanted to do and let it take it. Um, I wanted to do this because I wanted to show you something. Now you noticed before that um. When I gave it a gold one, after I gave it the wooden sword, it wouldn't pick the golden one up. This happens vice versa too. It won't pick up the stone one because it values them the exact same, but you can still give it a stone, an iron, and a diamond. You don't need to do these in order, just in case you're actually like, wondering. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I believe... Okay, so I've gone over both priorities. Um, doesn't prioritize anything else, by the way. Um, and you can give a zombie a bow, but it doesn't shoot the bow because it doesn't have any arrows. And you can't give them any arrows because they only have one inventory slot. Um, besides the armor inventory slots. Anyway, yeah. So I believe I have now gone over absolutely everything. So, yeah. Goodbye, my union.